Okay, lesson eight. Uh, we're gonna do some work with some custom shapes. Um, we're actually going to use images to trace and then have the shape that we've traced. So I'm gonna go get a, a silhouette. So make sure you just are searching for a really simplified image, just something that's like black and white. Um, and I am going to copy my image and then bring it back to my desktop and then paste it. And then what I'm going to actually use here is this uh, fourth tool down is called the magic wand. And all I'm doing is just selecting on the black, like the part of the image that I want. And once I've done that, what I need to do is go and make a new blank layer. And then what I'm going to do is on that blank layer, but with the selection selected, I am going to get my fill tool in any color and I'm going to fill it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the image. And now I basically have um, this silhouette shape that I can now um, manipulate. So if I go and get the arrange tool and I get transform, I can now um, make it a certain size, I can rotate it, um, I can do any of the those things, right? Um, because I can move it around. Um, I'm going to set it, hitting enter. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, I'm going to do sort of like a cool gradient. So this one, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Oops, I'm going to fill it. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. Sort of the same amount. And I'm going to make it even lighter. So you can play around with that. And then, so say I really like that and I want to sort of make maybe a bit of a pattern with it. I could go and uh, merge those down so that they're all on one. Merge down again. So now all three of them are on one layer. Um, and then I could come in here and duplicate them and this time I could flip them this way and I could start to like create this really cool um, pattern if you wanted. But because I now have it as my own image, um, I could do things like add gradients or I could add a stroke. Um, now I can basically come in here and do whatever I want with it because I've traced it. And that's lesson eight.